Antoine, it's out there now. You're on the plane to the FIFA World Cup in Qatar with Ghana. Can you sum up how you feel at the moment? Um, it hasn't sunk in yet. I mean, it, it feels surreal. Um, obviously, I've got the call on Monday saying that I'm being selected. And I tell you what, I was just rolling around in the house so excited. So, yeah, it hasn't sunk in yet. But I know once I'm there, the feeling will be unbelievable. Like you said, it must be a very proud moment for yourself, but also for your family and what they said to you. <laughs> They're just excited as, as, as I am, to be honest. Um, when I found out, I called them straight away. Mum was crying, dad was crying as well. So, you know, it's big for them and it's also big for me. I can see the smile on your face. <laughs> and it's been less than a year since your first call up to the Ghana squad. Yeah. Over that period of time, has the World Cup always been a goal in the back of your mind or has it just been about playing your best football you can? Yeah, I think playing my best football. I mean, obviously I needed to work hard to get to this moment. So I knew that when I did get selected, I needed to work hard and, you know, show my ability to get the chance to get called. And I've done enough to get called. So, yeah, I can't complain. You've spoken openly about your journey in football it hasn't been the most conventional one. Yeah. As an 18-year-old, when you first came to the West Country and stuff, yeah. to then now go into a World Cup, that must give you goosebumps every time you feel like Yeah, no, honestly, um, I've only just told my friends about it and they're just saying that it's crazy that I was just playing college recently and now I look at this. So, you know, shows hard work pays off. Looking at the World Cup, you're in a very competitive group. You've got the likes of Portugal, South Korea, Uruguay, teams littered with world-class stars. Yeah. Obviously, black stars have got them of their own as well but yeah. that must be a challenge you're really relishing as a footballer oh no 100 percent. i mean you're going to come up against the world best so you know, i want to see where i'm at ability wise and obviously as a as, as a nation see where we are as well and hopefully we can compete with them and you know go through is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to matching up against um, opportunity um um portugal ruben diaz you know he'll be a tough opponent obviously plays for one of the world's best, but, you know, I want to see where I'm at against him and, you know, push myself to the limits, so can't wait. And while you're away, you're obviously going to have the full support of the City fan base and everyone here at the club, and how does that kind of make you feel knowing out there you've got the backing of everyone? Yeah, back no, here? I mean, they support me here and I know that they'll be supporting me away, hoping that I stay injury-free, but, you know, I'm happy they'll be supporting me. I'm thankful for them. On behalf of everyone, mate, well done and best of luck. Thank you very much.